The all-SEC schedule for Vanderbilt proved to be too tough as they did not win a single game. You look back to their schedule, and they didn't have to play Alabama, and their game against Georgia got canceled, so it could have been worse. Um, but, yeah, they you know were competitive in a couple of games, Kentucky, Texas A&M, but really uh, Vanderbilt proved that they were probably the worst team in the SEC last season. This is a schedule for 2021. Before we go game by game, let's look at who they play outside of the SEC East because we know they're going to play every team in the SEC East. In the non-conference, they'll play ETSU, Colorado State, Stanford, and UConn. Colorado State being on the road. They're going to have to go out west for that matchup. And how about Stanford? That's an, an interesting matchup there. Uh, battle of the brains in that matchup. And uh, it's one that you know, it would have been more interesting if Derek, Make it, Derek Mason was still at Vanderbilt uh, when you look at that connection. But uh, regardless, that should be a, a pretty fun game to watch there. Uh, it depends on how good Stanford is. If Stanford's really uh, takes a step forward this year, this is probably going to be a blowout. But they haven't been great the last few years, so that could be a competitive game. And then you've got Mississippi State and Ole Miss in the non in the uh, non-division. You really couldn't ask for much more than that. You don't have to play Alabama. You don't have to play Texas A&M. You don't have to play LSU. Uh, Ole Miss might be the fourth best team in the West this year, but still, that's a, they play them every year anyway. So Mississippi State's a pretty good draw out of the West. So a schedule sets up pretty well for the Commodores. They begin with ETSU on September the 4th at home. Then they'll play Colorado State on the road September 11th. Stanford on September 18th at home. Again, a game that uh, maybe Vandy will have a shot in. So it's tough to say right now. Uh, Georgia on September 25th, obviously going to be a tough one. And then UConn, uh, they're on October 2nd at home. UConn has not been very good the last few years. So that's, I think, a, definitely a winnable game. Probably a game that Vandy should win, actually. If they were able to somehow beat Stanford, this team could actually start off 4-1. and one. I mean, it could be a good start for Vandy, but then... You look at the rest of the schedule there in the SEC, and the wins just seem like they're going to be tough to come by. Florida there on October the 9th on the road. Got to play in the swamp. Going to be a tough one. South Carolina. Now, they're going to be down, I think. It's perhaps a game that Vandy could could sneak in there and, and maybe get a win. Uh, but playing on the road at South Carolina, going to be a tough matchup. Mississippi State at home September, or excuse me, October the 23rd. Get them at home. Maybe that's a game you could maybe still a win in. Uh, Missouri there on October. November, it should be October 30th, a typo there. On October the 30th, last uh, last game that they'll play in the month of October. And it's it's strange because their bye week is the first weekend, the first weekend of, of November. Like you've only got three games after the bye week, so a really late bye week for Vanderbilt. Um which is interesting. And then they close out They down the stretch here. They'll play Kentucky at home. They'll play Ole Miss on the road and then Tennessee on the road. So, again, the schedule is, is going to be tough for them just because it's Vanderbilt, and, and they're probably going to be – I would say they're going to be underdogs in nine, nine of their 12 games probably. So, again, a, a tough schedule for Vandy, but it, it's, it could be much worse. I think really – the schedule sets up in a way where if, if they make some improvements and Vandy's a good bit better than they were last year, there are wins on the schedule that could possibly happen. And who knows? Vandy could maybe even make it to a bowl game. They don't have any real tough stretches. I mean, you don't you, – Georgia, you have Florida. Uh, those are probably going to be the two toughest games. Missouri and Kentucky will be pretty tough. They're back-to-back, -back, but they're at home. How about that stretch right there from Mississippi State to Kentucky? All three of those games at home. Uh, so, again, there are some opportunities here for Vanderbilt in 2021, a schedule that sets up in a, in a way that they could potentially have some, some success, but, of course, they're going to have to do it on the field. They're going to have to play better uh, to have a chance to win a lot of these games.